Just doing a little jogging. Make sure my blood's flowing through my body. So, what's making my blood flow through my body? Well, probably structures of my circulatory system. Well, what circulatory system? Let's take a look. We already know that our heart pumps blood through our body. It circulates your blood. Well, then there's blood. Your heart circulates your blood. And then your blood vessels are the things that your heart travels through. So those are three. Wait, 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 wait. Your heart travels through your blood vessels? <laughs> your blood travels through your blood vessels. And your heart pumps your blood through your blood vessels throughout your body. Right? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, those are some of the structures of your circulatory system. Let's go through each one of these and see what each one of those does for us. Heart, Mr. Kincaid. Okay, heart is made of cardiac muscle. Okay, it never gets tired. Well, actually, it does get tired, but when it gets tired, it stops beating, and when it stops beating... You're, you're dead. That's it. So when you're alive, it never gets tired. It is the force that pumps blood through the body, and this causes the... <laughs> Can you do that sound? That is your heartbeat. Okay, that's me pretending to do a heartbeat. But maybe you can do that too. It's the lub dub. Lub dub. Because your heart is actually pumping, well, it's doing a lot of really complicated things. And we're going to go through that in more detail later. But know that it's the force, cardiac muscle, and never gets tired. But wait, there's more. Hey, if you didn't already know it, your blood is not just floating freely throughout your body. It travels through these little things called blood vessels. And you're gonna have three different types of blood vessels in your body. So the first type we're gonna talk about is arteries. These are the blood vessels that carry blood away from your heart. Arteries take blood away from your heart. Now this blood that goes away from your heart has oxygen in it. It's oxygenated blood. It's taken away from your heart to the rest of your body. And what color is it? It has oxygen, so it's red. Right, good. That's why when you cut yourself, it's exposed to oxygen, you see red blood. Inside your body without oxygen, your blood travels back to your heart through your veins. It goes back to your heart through your veins, but this time, it has no oxygen in it. So inside your body, your blood with no oxygen is not red, it's blue, blue. okay? Um, veins to your heart, no oxygen. Okay, now the tiniest of these blood vessels is capillaries. And these distribute oxygen and nutrients to every single cell in your body. They're very, very tiny. And they're the smallest of the blood vessels. Can we use Bob to show the, yeah, show the different one? let's show Okay, let's here, show let's look Bob. at Bob here. Should we take his lungs off? You can if you want. Okay. Well, I don't all right, so Bob's heart is here, and as you can see, you have two big blood vessels going away from the heart and going to the heart, and these are your arteries and your veins, and the artery carries blood away from your heart. The veins <laughs> carry blood back to your heart. Now, anytime you see the blue, you're going to think that it does not have oxygen yet, and the red will already have oxygen in the blood. Okay, so let's go over here and learn a little bit about your blood. Blood is made up of four different types of blood cells. So inside your blood, you have white blood cells. And what those do is they help fight infection and fight diseases. They will literally eat germs um, to help you fight your infections. And if you get a disease, to fight those. Like Pac-Man? Yes, like Pac-Man. It's actually eating all of the germs. Your red blood cells will carry oxygen to your body, to the cells of your body. And your platelets are really cool. These things help you stop bleeding. They form clots or scabs <gasps> to help your bleeding stop. So when you pick your scabs, your body's having to clot more. Your platelets are working overtime to clot to form another scab to help you stop bleeding. 
Otherwise, you would just lose all your blood. Yeah, and you would die. Okay, and then the last part of your blood is your plasma. This is the liquid part of your blood that your white blood cells, your red blood cells, and your platelets that they float in. It's kind of like a river that they're floating in. And it's going to carry the water, nutrients, and waste um, of your body. All right, what do we have next, Mr. Kincaid? Functions! Functions! Functions of the circulatory system. Well, we all know that the heart pumps blood through your body. I hope we know that by now. Um, your circulatory system also picks up oxygen from the lungs and nutrients from the digestive system to deliver it to your body where your body needs it. And then it's going to carry waste to where it can be eliminated. Not everything in your body your body needs. Some of it is waste that needs to be eliminated. So these are the functions of your circulatory system. Questions? Okay. <laughs> All right, so maintaining balance. Remember, your body wants to stay the same. Homeostasis, stay the same. Wait, so, what does that mean again? Homeostasis? Stay the same, maintain oh, balance. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you want to talk about this one? No. Okay. All right, well... The circulatory system is going to take oxygen and nutrients to all the cells of your body. We kind of already discussed that. Um, it's going to carry carbon dioxide and waste to where it can be eliminated. We talked about that already. It helps fight diseases. Remember, these are your white blood cells help you do this. And then when you need more oxygen, your heart beats faster. So when you're running or jump jacks or whatever you're doing that's causing you to need more oxygen, your heart is going to beat faster to pump more blood to deliver more oxygen to your cells. Okay. That's all. That's it. That's it. Is there anything else we need to add? What would you like to add? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Just make sure you have your worksheet filled out and you bring your notes to class. Goodbye.